I'm Mary Schuster, Chief Product Officer and EVP of Regulatory Affairs with RamQuest, here to talk to you today about the new closing disclosure form from the CFPB. Page 3 of the CD displays a calculating cash to close table at the top. This is similar to an estimated cash to close table the borrower first saw soon after loan application on their loan estimate form. The cash to close table on the CD provides a comparison to the estimated numbers provided on the LE for an at a glance comparison for the borrower. If there was a change to the amount between the LE and the CD, additional language is required on the CD to guide the borrower back to the section of the form that shows the greater detail. The bottom two-thirds of the page three contains the summaries of the transaction for both buyer and seller. This area is formatted with section K as debits from the buyer and section M as credits to the seller. Section L contains credits to the buyer and section N shows seller debits. Some lines in these sections are designated for specific items. For example, line N4 is for the payoff of a seller's first mortgage. Earnest money on deposit would be shown on line L1. The buyer's new loan proceeds should appear on L2. There are additional specific lines designated depending on the scenario. So as always, check the TRID rule and your lender's instructions carefully. Next, we'll review page four of the CD.